Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Hello and welcome to Keep It Classical. Before we get started in earnest, I want to talk briefly about what I want this channel to be and what I want to accomplish with it. Basically the who, what, where, when, and why about what I'm doing. Let's start with the who by introducing myself. My name is Matt Nielsen. I'm a conductor, a published composer, professional singer, sound engineer, producer, and educator. Classical music is my calling and I've dedicated my professional career to it. Look, I even have degrees in it. They say that you go crazy by degrees. I have, I have three. I have a bachelor's, a master's, and a doctor of musical arts. And yes, this last one makes me Dr. Nielsen. So you could say that I'm kind of a big deal. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Really? I first fell in love with classical music in high school when we took a school trip to the San Francisco Opera to see Falstaff by Giuseppe Verdi. My love was later cemented by a performance we did of Forre's Requiem. Ever since then, I've wanted to share my love with it with as many people as possible. So what am I doing? I'm going to be posting short video essays on different subjects about music history and classical music in general. I want these video essays to be informative, but also entertaining. Substantial, but to the point. In addition, I'll be posting videos on special subjects like concert etiquette or classical music and animals in the future. I might post some other sorts of content like vlogs as well. I'm going to upload videos right here to this YouTube channel. I'll upload to all the platforms as it makes sense, but we'll start with this. Also, follow me on Instagram at Matthew D. Nielsen, where I'll post questions and polls that I'll answer here. For now, my goal is to upload a new video every week, whether a video essay, a special topic, or a vlog. The most important question of all is why? Why bother with classical music? Like I said before, I love classical music, and I want to widen its audience to as many people as possible. It's an important part of our culture and heritage, and those of us involved with it should be opening its doors to as many new people as possible. While I was getting my music degrees, I would talk with friends who were majoring in other subjects, and many of them would tell me that they wish they knew more about classical music, but felt they didn't know where to begin. They understood that classical music is an important part of our culture, but they felt intimidated by the learning curve. Some even express a hesitation perceiving classical music to be snobby or elitist. Many of these friends would ask if I would put lessons together or listening guides so that they could deepen their exposure to this genre. Now, if you heard me share these accounts and thought to yourself, hey, that's me, then you are who I want to help. You are my intended audience. I know there are people out there who want to learn more about classical music because I've met you. If you want to learn more about classical music, I'm here to help you. Hopefully after learning a bit more, you'll feel confident enough to incorporate more classical music into your life. You can start by listening to a classical radio station and eventually attend live concert events and supporting local artists in whatever way you can. Now when you find something you love, I invite you to share it with everyone around you. Together we can share more and more of this incredible music. That's all for now. Next time we'll talk about what classical music is, what it isn't, and maybe see if there's a better name for it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more videos, and remember, keep it classical.